All right, this morning we're going to recover some ground because a few of the previous videos are going to be replaced, um, not only for feedback, but also just because YouTube has been screaming at me for uh, space. So I'm going to narrow down the length of some of the older videos that were over uh, 10 minutes each. And we're going to cover this morning how to find and remove duplicates. In a previous video, I discussed how to build a common table expression, and I'm going to do it that way today. And if you go down in the description, you will see there's the video how to build a common table expression. So that's the how-to of building a common table expression. And in this one, we're going to be using a common table expression to remove duplicates. And this is going to be built off of the, the former video as well, except this is going to be a lot faster. So I will eventually remove the other video. If you want to save it before, uh, go ahead and save it. All right, so we have two columns. Uh, we have column one and column two in the table process. And in our columns, you can see that we have a few duplicates. And we have, like, this one's pretty obvious. And then we have a few others as well. Now, um, what we're going to do is, what we want to do is we want to keep all of the distinct values, not the distinct values in just one column, but in both columns. So for instance, this call, row number two is a duplicate of row number one. Um, row number three, uh, row number eight, I mean, is a duplicate of row number three. So we want row number three, we don't want row number eight. We want row number one, but we don't want row number two. And then row number 10 is a duplicate of row number six. So again, we want row number six, but we don't want row number 10. All right, so building a common table expression, as I cover in that, the video in the description, what we're going to do is we're going to select, and this is the part that we're, we will actually be looking at here, is we're going to do row number, which refers to this right here, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, over, now we're going to partition, which think of partitioning as breaking things down, dividing. Partitioning is like a division problem, basically. Think of it that way. It makes more sense. We're going to partition by column one and column two, and then we're going to order by column one, column two. And then we're going to name that field, and then we're going to select the rest of the table. And we're just selecting star from uh, this common table expression. So what we're going to get, essentially, when we partition by column one and column two, is it's going to count, it does this order by and this partition as to how distinct these columns are, right? And we can see that in this table there are seven distinct values, but we do see there are three duplicate values. Or repeat values. Let me just use the word repeat. That's more appropriate. Okay, so we, um, depending on your environment, some environments have a policy where you will select out duplicates. So let's just go ahead and do that. We found the duplicates, and we found the duplicates by these statements here. We're ordering by column one, column two. We're partitioning by column one, column two. So if you're given a problem really quickly, and they say uh, we want to remove duplicates in a table and the table stores chemical data and you see that oxygen or the chemical oxygen is listed twice, you're going to partition by that chemical, right? If there's two columns, then you're going to partition by two. If there's one, you're going to partition by one and so on and so forth. All right, so some environments, they want you to just select out the duplicates. They may insert it into another table. And so we're going to do that first because a lot of environments, or not a lot, but some environments do not want you to remove them because they want to be able to figure out why they're getting duplicates and that prevents them from determining that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say where the count equals one. And you'll see we have seven values and our duplicates are removed. Or our du duplicates, what I should say, are selected out. Okay, so that's the first approach. Another approach in some environments will say we want you to remove them. So we're going to delete from do where the count equals two. So first, let's go ahead and let's just review really fast. What was the table, what did the table look like? Or what did our result set look like? And you'll see two is the duplicate, right? Two, two, two. So what we're doing is we're deleting from dupe where equals two. Now, quick note, if let's say there were 
uh, three, four, five. In other words, you had five, uh, four repeating values. One you obviously want, but you didn't want two, three, four, and five. So again, let's let's use this as an example really fast to make it clear. Suppose you had one, 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 and you had another row three that was also one, one, so it would have been a third value, and then you had one, one, which would have been a fourth value. Then of course you could easily um, word this where you're going to delete from the table where it doesn't equal one. And we could run this statement too. Okay, in this case I'm just going to do it equals two because we only have duplicates. We don't have triples or quadruples or quintuples. Okay, so then we're going to do we're going to run this statement. And you'll notice three rows are effective. And by the way, if we were actually running this in production, we would want to do um, if row count doesn't equal three, and we would want to roll back trend, but we're not. This is dev. Now let's select star from our duplicate table, or our table. I'm sorry, I'm sorry process, I mean. And you'll see we have seven values. So key takeaway here, when using the common table expression this approach, is this phrase, you're going to look at the row number and you're going to partition by the columns that there are duplicates on and order by those columns. And then you will either select out or you will delete out.